Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing great today, that you're having a fantastic, productive day. Today in Tutorials, we're going to talk about Evernote and how I use the application. I think that if you understand how to use it, you'll see how beneficial it will be for your productivity. So today, it's Evernote in Tutorials. <laughs> Business notes and business report. If you have a lot of meeting like I do, I think it's very important to have a place where you can collect all the notes and all the reports that you need to refer back to in the future. So with Evernote, it's very easy to do that. You can just write the notes, scan it, put it through Evernote, or you can directly take notes in Evernote while you're working offline even offline. So for me, it's a great tool and I can keep hold of all my, all my business notes and it's highly searchable with Evernote, so that's a plus. And I really recommend you to create a separate book for all your meeting notes and business reports. I use Evernote to collect snippets online, articles, especially that I want to read offline because you, with the Web Clipper, you can either archive an entire page, you can bookmark a page, or you can create a simplified article that you can use, uh, that you can read later on. And Evernote probably has the best web clipper that you can find. So I really recommend you to try this feature. If you never tried it before, just for the web clipper, it's worth the try. I also use it to throw a quick presentation that I would do during a meeting because you have this ability in Evernote to to create quick presentation very quickly or present your note in a nice format. Then you can share your books, you can share your notes, or you can even chat with the notes. So this is a feature if, you, if you're working that can really help you boost the productivity of your team. I use it as a Rolodex. All my contacts are inside of Evernote. You can use it through scanning business cards. Evernote has this great feature where you can extract the information from a business card that you that you uh, scan with your iPhone or iPad, and you can then link those information to a LinkedIn account if there's anything missing. And I think that this is probably the coolest feature that Evernote has. I use it to keep my handwritten notes. I tend to use my iPad quite a lot. I love my iPad Pro and I love to handwrite my notes because I feel like I'm writing on paper, but yet I have all the advantage of having it kept inside of Dropbox or Evernote or whatever. So what I would do is use a note application on um, my iPad and then send it to Evernote. The fact that it can OCR content makes that it can find your what you wrote when you search it through Evernote. So it makes your handwritten notes searchable and that is a great feature when you need to go back to them because when I go to meetings I don't tend to type my notes because it feels like you're not you're not quite there present during the meeting. I think when you handwrite, even if it's on the tablet, people feel like you're taking notes, you're handwriting things. And I feel that it's a bit, it connects you more with the people during a meeting. I know it's a weird thing to say, but I, I really think it does. When you handwrite, they tend to talk slowly. They tend to pay attention to you more because you're hand, they know that you're handwriting your notes. I also study, so I find that it's very important for me to keep track of my keywords. You know, uh, when you study and you learn something new, you want to be able to keep all those new words somewhere. And with Evernote, you can create a, a note per keyword and then either merge your notes or create a table of content where you can refer back to those definitions when you need them for your course. You can also create a table of content for recipes and prayers. I write a lot of prayers or I like to go online and look for cool prayers. Um, so I can just uh, create notes and then create a table of content where I can go back to them if I need them. Uh, the same goes for recipes. You can keep track of all the recipes that you like online and put them in a particular folder and create a table of content, merge recipes that, that are similar together. Uh, so Evernote is also a great way to archive information. So let's say that uh, you're working on a project and you want to make sure that you keep track of your progress or that you just want to archive how the project went down. With Evernote, you can uh, either um, create kind of a books of notes with a table of content or you can merge everything and again, create, uh, create maybe an ebook out of it, maybe export it as a PDF. 
I obviously use Evernote to go paperless. So I scan my receipts. I scan my uh, my my books. So if I found a useful article somewhere or the page of a book that I like, then I will scan this and keep it inside of Evernote. I can uh, scan warranties and serial numbers. If you buy a new washing machine, for example, and you need you need to keep the guides or the um, warranties, then Evernote can help you do that. Just scan the pages, and that will be in your Evernote accounts forever. I also like to use Evernote for my social media feedback. So uh, I worked for several companies before, and sometimes you want to keep either the questions or the comments or even the competition. You want to keep the question or the comments of the competition to be able to see what the users are looking for. And it's great to be able to save snippets of these. Then I will merge them and then put them in a book where I can refer back to them if I need to create content. So as I said, Evernote is great if you want to scan uh, physical things like books and things like that. Especially if I have an advice, if you're a student and you don't want to carry your heavy books, but you know exactly which lesson you're going to um, learn on that particular day, don't hesitate to scan the page that you're going to study on that day. So instead of carrying the heavy book, you can just have Evernote with you with all your course there. You can take notes underneath. You can um, annotate the the actual scan and this is what's great with a note by the way i also use it to annotate my pdf of course uh, if you're a premium user you have the ability to annotate your pdf with evernote and it's uh it's really cool the way they do it so i really uh encourage you to check it out okay thank you so much for watching there are a million ways of using evernote i just listed a few things i probably forgot things i just wanted to give you an idea uh of of how to use the application and how it can be useful to you. Evernote seems to be loaded with features. And before you start using it, it's very hard to uh, get your head around it. So I hope that it was helpful to you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ask me questions if you have any. And in the meantime, I wish you the best day ever. Have a productive day. Always take in perfect action. It doesn't matter if you have something in your mind, in your head. Get started today. Don't wait. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.